Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. Tonight, you know what, we're going to do another one-off. I don't know why, but for some reason I'm just on a kick right now. Uh, but this is a little bit more our speed. This is called The Room. This was actually recommended in one of the comments sections uh, because it deals a lot with puzzle boxes and sort of hunting for clues and figuring out how things work. Uh, I figured we can do one episode of this, and you guys can tell me if you want to see more of this. There are two other games. There's Room 2, which is also on PC, and then Room 3, which hasn't been ported to PC yet. These start out as uh, mobile games by Fireproof. Uh, and then I think this one came out in 2014 and then got ported. And then Fire uh, and then uh, the Room 2 got, was ported in July of 2016, I think. And 3 has not yet been moved to PC. Uh, and the reason for that is they upscale the graphics, make everything uh, much more high res and detailed. And, I mean, it shows. Look at this thing. It's insane. Anyway. Uh, let's just start with the tutorial here. This is chapter one. Double click on the envelope on the top shelf to focus on it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, I'm also playing with hints off. I think uh, they might give you some like helpful handholdy stuff in the tutorial. But after this, it should clear up and we should be on our own, which I am definitely looking forward to. Uh, let's read. You came. I knew your curiosity would get the better of you. Please excuse the mess. My housekeeper abandoned me shortly after the rest of the world. The answers you seek are inside this box, along with something else. Something they said could never be built. It is the only one in existence, and it is the key to incomprehensible power. This safe was constructed to keep it from lesser minds. I have every faith in you solving its mysteries. You always were the smart one. With the enclosed key, I gift you one parting favor. Keep this eyepiece with you always. Without it, you are as blind as the rest. The stakes are higher than you could possibly imagine. Okay, click the key to take it. Cool. A small brass key with an animal motif. Oh, so this is teaching us mechanics. All right, so we can rotate things. Rotate the lid. Oh, there it is. Drag the key to the keyhole. Cool. And then unlock. Nice. Open. I gotta say, for a 2014 game, the graphics here are awesome. Very detailed. Very, like, intricate. Look at this. Um, okay, pick up the eyepiece. Curious eyepiece. Click the e Click it to where? Right? It doesn't do anything. Perhaps something's missing? What does the note say? Okay, we click it again to remove. Double-click the note. Feed me, and I shall survive. Give me drink, and I shall die. Hmm. A riddle! The solution must be here somewhere. Okay, right-click to zoom out. You'll find the answer somewhere on the safe. Okay, now we're hopefully somewhat on our own. Now this is... what is this? Right, that probably opens somehow. What is this up here? Looks like a slidey bit. Yes, keyhole. Alright, well that's probably going to open that piece. What else we got? Fire, earth. Alright, this is another slidey piece. Look, it has another one of these like slide etchings. It's another keyhole. Okay, less obvious. What does this say? Bespoke safes for the gentry. Guildford, England, guaranteed thief and fireproof, the world-renowned talisman, uh, established 1807. I might be able to unscrew this if I had something to grip it with. All right, fine. Hey, all right, I get it, jeez. Um, you can kind of see there's something back there. Look at this little corner here sticking out. Interesting. Um, water and air. Is that what the solution to the riddle is? One of the elements, maybe? If you feed it, if you feed a fire, it'll grow, but if you put water in it... Okay, so it's fire, right? Fire! <laughs> there it is. Wood feeds it, but water puts it out. I guess I should give it a push. Okay. Ooh, a peculiar old key. There's something unusual about this key. I should take a closer look. I should. Rotate the end of the key. No, not, don't rotate the key. It looks like I can turn the end to make the key into a different shape. Thanks. And then we know we have two keyholes. Um, let's do this one. Path of least resistance, right? Uh, that's the right shape right now. Okay, turn. An ornately engraved metal plate. The end looks like it could be used as a wrench. A little on the nose, but okay. Here it is. We know that this shape matches. I turn? No, not that way. But yeah, there it is. Now we have a lens. It looks like it could fit in the eyepiece. Ooh. Holy moly. Okay, well, 
We're gonna try the keyhole next, because clearly something's drawn over here. Man, look at this. Same diagram all over again, that's crazy. Um, okay, this is giving me a headache. Let's go over here. Keyhole. Let's actually turn it this way so that we can see the shape of the key as it turns. There it is. I mean, it's not a very complex shape, but still. Okay, key goes in, turn, and this thing opens. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that it was telling me to do this. Because, I mean, what else is left, right? Um, yes, let's line it up. Okay, that seems good. That seems good. Um, yeah, it's, it's like this. Ah, the animation here is super intricate. It's awesome. Well, well, let's take it out for a closer look. Yes, indeed. Chapter complete. All right, so we're done with the tutorial. Pleasing progress, but do you really think you've proven yourself yet? No, no, because that was a tutorial. So this is what uh, you guys were saying in the comments, and thank you for recommending. I'm actually having a lot of fun. Um, this is a puzzle box in a puzzle box, so hopefully next chapter is we solve this puzzle box. Cool. These three seals stand between me and the contents of this box, i.e. the next puzzle box. Okay. Let's look around the box first, right? Okay. A little pendant with an eye that I think matches, yeah, that. Um, like a little translucency on here, that's kind of neat. I don't know what that's about. Okay, so there's a number puzzle. We need four numbers. Fine. Um, notice something in... Yeah, see, we can rotate this. I like that. I like that there's a little... You can either see the thing down here, right? Or you can see that there are little ridges for the fingers to grip, like that the ridges on a coin or something. And uh, you can realize that this is for rotating. Okay, what's this? A short piece of cotton. It smells of paraffin. Right, so it's basically a wick. Cool. What else we have? Uh, the gear, and I'm pretty sure there's another... Yeah, there's a gear right there, so let's... Here. And what's... It's a gear, but there's a little diamond-shaped dent there. Fine. Um, I think... Take a look at that in a second. Check this out. I think this may be a thing that slides out, because, look, there's a little notch. Okay. Crown. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to start writing things down now. Um, there's a little... There's four dashes, and it looks like a crown. No idea what that's about, though. Okay. thought I saw something else like that up here. Just quickly glancing. Yeah, okay, so we'll go there in a second. Um, what's this? Oh, wait. Is this... Yeah, so, okay. So, the, the, so it's four pieces. There's at least one more piece that we see we need to fill in this code. Okay, fine. Um, ridges. Check that out. So this rotates. Yeah. See how this goes. Rotate, rotate, rotate. No, it's done. Fine. Inventory. It looks like a miniature telescope. All right, let's check it out. Ooh. And what happens if we rotate these? Like so? Neat. Okay. I have no idea what that's about. Fine. Sorry about that. Threw my mouse. So excited I got to throw my mouse around. Um, cowl. Sure. Might be, might be a piece missing. I don't know. And a key. And the key matches this. Okay, so those are the three seals. Let's look up here real quick. We have this weird, like, circle thing with a couple of lines. Fine. Um, what else we got? What else we got? We got this. Looks like a little star. Star-shaped indentation. Thank you. Thank you. I can see that it's a star-shaped indentation. Okay. Um, let's do this thing first. Let's put the circle here, because I'm fairly certain this is what we're solving here. Okay, like that. Now, we have two things we can check out. Well, actually, hold on. Let's, let's check out this thing. 
two things we check out. We have the number thing, but um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to take a spin around the box with the eye piece as well. Let's check this out. Does this slide? It presses. Fine. An ancient leather-bound book. The cover seems very ornate. Dot, dot, dot. Wow, that's a little... A little suggestive. Okay, so that's the next symbol. All right, where is it? Where is it? Really? Weird. Weird. The symbols are mismatched. All right, that's fine, though. Just assume that that's right. It's the same symbol, okay. No, 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 no. Yes. Okay, a heavy cast iron key. Ooh, all right. Let's look at this book first. Okay, the, the very ornate cover. Hmm. Huh. Did any of this move? Yes, it does. Okay. What if do that, and what if we do this, right? And I, I suppose it should have been obvious because they're, like, nailed in place, but... We do this, and then we move this piece over here so that this can pop open. Check this out. Yeah. February the 11th. My research continues at a snail's pace. With these barbaric instruments, I can barely read anything at all. But there is something there. Between earth and fire, between water and air. I cannot see it, but I can see its presence. Like the shadow of the object without substance, yet betraying the shape and form of that which casts it. It is the final element. Null. It brings meaning to the rest, just as all numbers of the world are meaningless without their zero. The circle are petty fools, blinded by their dark arts and their greed. Alchemy. It's not the pursuit of a callow, ga of callow gold. It is the pursuit of this. Okay. How old is this, anyway? This a key, it looks like it's for winding up clockwork. Cool. Um, okay, let's spin through with the eyepiece real quick. Hey, okay, ha ha okay. Alright, we'll get there in a second. Uh, now that we have this like little clockwork piece, can it go in here? No. Okay, let's take a look at this. <laughs> um I guess the she when you have a sheen like this, it means you can use your eyepiece. Cool. All right, so we got a five and a seven. No, 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 no. Uh, so maybe it's that the five goes here, right? And the seven goes here. And then the other two numbers are scrambled? So this is like, it's probably a two, right? It's the only one we can form. And... This is a... Six. Okay, so a two up here and a six here. Perfect. No need for spooky noises, thank you. Click down. Nice. And this opened up the eye thing. Cool. There's a note. Look at that. A.S. February 11th, my research continues at a snail's pace with these barbaric instruments. I can barely read it. Okay, we read that already. Fine. One of seven. Is that a thing up here? No. A thing up here? Sort of? Oh. Um, what's this? Smells of burning. Okay. I kind of hope that the those little tidbits would have gone away, but I guess not. I guess it's just hints like they actually would give you like straight up hints. Okay. Oh, it's a striker. Well then, it's a wick, right? Doink. Okay. Up and over, that's where this goes. Up and over. Okay. Oh, check it out! There are like, see, there's an image on this on this thing. So, okay, so, 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 I got an idea. Um, we have a telescope, right? It goes here. Yeah, it's a viewer. It's not a telescope, it's a viewer. And we got a... Probably why we wind up something, right? What is this? It's over there. Little latch. Oh, there we go. Right? Perfect. Nice. Okay, let's watch what we're supposed to see, I guess. 
Lens slide. This is the eyepiece. I got the feeling there's more to that uh, to that than I saw. Would the eyepiece reveal anything? I guess. <laughs> I like how he's in a different position. Trial. Nice. Hmm. Trial? Uh. Ha <laughs> ha. A little more nefarious. Yeah, this can move. This can move. This can move. Center can't move. All right, so we, we balance on the center. Uh, nope. Let's go with this. Okay, well, those are horns, right? Horns. And this on the bottom. Line up these pieces on the bottom right here. Brass L. Oh, I know where this goes. Trial, right? Trial, trial, trial. There we go. Goes like this. And then... Do, 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 do. Trial. Where's the R? Is and where's the T trial? Cool. Yes. Okay, one seal down. I beg your pardon. Okay, we've got a keyhole. We've got what's this? All right, I'm assuming these unclamp somehow. But check this out. Notice this shape? Look at that shape. Okay, it's like, but it's just like the half of it. Okay. Come back in a second. We can't move that, right? No, that probably opens with the key. This. Wait, what? The safe dial, but there's a piece missing. Okay. Uh, oh, note. May the 8th. McAllister returns with the rubbings from Egypt. The pattern continues. The Tibetans call the null element space. To the Hindus, it's Aether. And now, to the Babylonians, it is simply up. The other direction. The realm of Ishtar. Of yet more significance is the recurring presence of the hexagonal glyph. Hey, check it out. This is the thing that was all over the box in the first chapter. The same symbol repeated in cultures separated by countless centuries and the span of the globe. Who will tell me now that this is idle superstition at work? When my hands hold the first distilled sample, they will recognize me then. Presently, the skeptics have one more in their number. McAllister has quit my service. Hmm. Two of seven. That's interesting. I, I like that there's like a little story of him trying to find whatever it is that he's trying to find. That? What's this? No, 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 no. You don't, you misunderstand me. This thing. Check it out. There's a groove. Yeah, see? Uh, okay. Wait. What? Oh, do they have to be pointing up? Interesting. No, 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 no. I don't need that. Thank you. That's one. That's two. Perfect. Ah, and you know what that sheen means? That sheen means we use our eyepiece and... Oh! We just have to form the hexagon. Cool. Ha 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 ha, check it out. Put the key in here. Right? Now we only have that half piece sticking out, but then turn it. Come on, turn it. There we go. Ooh, see? And it unclamps the drawer. What's in the drawer? Another key. Small cabinet key. I really wish this thing would rotate a little bit more fast. Quickly sometimes with, like, the images. Or the items, rather. Okay, so we put the key in there. That's a no-brainer. Opens up to give us an enamel brass star. Eh, Okay. So I guess we're going to get a more complicated key. Okay. I'm going to press star. Oh, you know where that goes. I know where that goes. Come here. Come on. There it is. Yeah, yeah. What? Okay, there's a note. We'll read the note in a second. Check it out. This guy's important because there's something on the back. This, like, blue thing. 
Can't interact with him right now. Sword guy. Brass ring with the markings around there. Okay, so this is for the dial down there. Okay. Not a button, you just rotate it, fine. Nope, okay, let's read the note. June 21st, take note of this date. It is the most significant in human history. I have done it. A human subject was required. The catalyst was my own being. Fatigued by my studies, I entered the chamber without disabling the mechanism. When I regained consciousness, I had succeeded. The null element is beyond curious, being neither quite energy nor matter. I have already made great strides in its study, specifically in how it refracts the light. Tonight, I open the wine. Three of seven. Hmm. Okay. Let's put the dial on here. Fine. But how? Okay. Oh, this is one of these puzzles, huh? No. One, two, two, three. No. One, two, two, three. Here, this. <laughs> Okay. This moves. What the heck was that? Oh, this is just like light glinting off of it. Okay. When in doubt, eyepiece. There we go. Um. Oh. The right is five. To the left is two. Is that what we're seeing? Give it a shot. To the left is two. To the right is five. Five. Nice. A large, oddly shaped key. Okay, let me just recreate this pattern here. So it's up in the side, then a little, like, zig and all the way down, right? Zig all the way down. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to face the key this way so that we don't mess up the pattern because this one's not symmetrical. Now, all the way around. Okay. Now the key is like this. And... All the way around, and like this. Yes. Okay, then the key goes in, and we turn. And this somehow is much, much more open inside <laughs> than the last time. I think last time this piece was, like, completely blocked off. We close back. Circular plate with a star emblem. All right. Uh, star emblem. Hmm. But it does have a peg. And you know where that peg can go? No, not there. Here. Okay. Does it? Yes, it does. The second seal is open. Just one more to go. Okay. Um... Keyhole, fine. Down here. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess. Yeah. No. I'm gonna guess that we are. Whoa, 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 whoa. What just happened? Thank you. Uh, we're gonna be able to take something off here because look, there's a. There's clearly like a weird model here that it, that looks like a plate being jammed on. Not meta game. It actually is like a, a model being jammed on here, like a, a little plate. This went up. Oh. Okay, fine, whatever. Eh. Um, I think that's the way it was before. I want to mess around with anything right now. Oh, hello, hello. No, no, can't rotate it. I'm assuming... Assuming this has to work first. Okay, does anything down here work? No, the globe doesn't work. We're just rotating the field. Okay. Another one of these... There's another one, like, it's like the one with the square at the top, right? Okay. This rotates for nothing. I'm assuming maybe we're missing some cogs here that look like pegs. Oh, cool. Alright, so this goes up. This comes down. What the? Haha! <laughs> okay, so check it out. We have the square one up there, we have this one on this side. This is protected by a little silver plate on the back, and this is here. This is what I think it is, right? Yeah, it's a drawer. Okay, so it's a drawer, and you have to line up these corners so that the drawer is free to rotate. 
check it out like that okay and then this has to be upper right corner we literally have to flip it like this okay that one's already in place that one's already in place too ah cool all right what do we have an elastic band whatever and a large cock well what did i say we had i think it goes on here but hold on yeah because you can see it, right? That's the indentation, and it's a little octagon. Yeah, it goes here. Perfect. So we can now... Oh, look at that. Now it's powering this piece. And we got a small screwdriver. Perfect. Uh, well, you know what the screwdriver does. It goes here. Lefty Lucy. Righty tighty. Here we go. And... Yes, the plate comes off. What does this do? Hmm. Interesting. We... Nope. We just stop it. Okay. It's this a peculiar key. Right? No idea. Um... Can't take this back, can we? It doesn't seem that way. Nope, it's stuck. Okay, fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there. There is a lot of pieces here. Let's just unfold all the pieces just so we're, we're clear how many pieces there are. Four. Four plus the bit, that, you know, the, the actual piece here, right? Okay. Anywhere we can. There we go. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Drawer and an oddly shaped key. Um, let me draw this real quick. So the T is at the top. Then it goes down, down. Then it goes down, down. It's oddly symmetrical. And then there's like this little ridge at the bottom. So down on either side to the out. Like the, the, the ridges that go down are in the outside. The ridges that go up on their inside. Both sides. Okay, so. Like this goes like this because remember down has to be on the outside this goes like this and I think we've just done it perfect a medium-sized cog okay well that still goes here and I think can we yes we can it's like I can take this off again if I need it huh. well, let's switch over and we'll engage this next little flywheel Nice. Another medium-sized cog. Look, it's all coming to life. This hasn't been spinning yet. I'm assuming it's this piece that's next. Now, this goes here. This goes here. Can we take this? No. What about... No. Huh. Oh, hold on. Yeah, nice. And that works now, so we can press this button now. Look at that. It's working. Uh, sort of. A long, narrow steel tube. Cool. Work? No. Um. Kind of look like buttons. No? No. Oh. Some kind of a small key. Okay. No, 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 no. Come on, come on. There's something in here. An old photograph. Rev 605. Okay, Revelation 605? Who knows? It's on the photograph here is a house. Um, hmm. Oh, but the small key goes here, right? Opens. Now, while you look at the sheen, that pretty much tells us, oh my god. This. Oh god, these move. Oh god, these move. Uh, what doesn't move? That doesn't move. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. <laughs> well, that was by sheer blind luck, huh? Small silver shield. 
couldn't possibly be to this guy, could it? Because he's the only one that doesn't have anything up here. And they all have, like, little silver things. Ah! An oval gemstone. Okay, and there was this piece right here. This. I thought for a second that the, the, the rod would have gotten in here, but no. It's in here. Oh my god. Uh, okay, well, 605 it is, right? Uh, da, 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 605. There we go, seal number three is open. Nice. Chapter complete! Pleasing progress, but do you really think you've proven yourself yet? I mean, I don't think I've proven myself, but I've definitely had a lot of fun. Uh, and we'll call it right there. So, if you guys enjoyed that, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let's me know that I'm doing something right. Let's me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff, and specifically this game, or even this game series. Uh, I gotta say, I really enjoyed it. Even if you guys don't want to see this as a series, I'll probably go and beat it anyway. Uh, on my own time, because... Why not, right? It seems pretty fun. Um... That said, if you do want to see it as a series, or you have thoughts, or you have ideas, or you have things that maybe I could have done differently, uh, by all means, leave a comment. Everything's welcome, and in any case, I'll see you all next time.